Smith. I'm heading right now to an open up and a rekey in South St. Pete. Looks like it's on the beach kind of area, on the water, waterfront-ish. Either waterfront or a block away from waterfront. So we'll see what goes on. Could be interesting. Uh, apparently this is vacant and nobody's there. That's why I'm recording this because uh, I feel uncomfortable recording this when people are actually there. So, day in the life of the locksmith. Got another uh, six minutes before we arrive at our destination. Here I am at the front gate. What a uh, hassle. Uh, Just a little pissed off here because nobody called to let them know that I was coming through and this guy's being difficult about it. There's no communication here with the guard guy, guy so... Just gotta freaking wait. I guess that's a phone call coming in now. Alright, so here I am. I'm at on site. Dealing with the gate. Well, it was a real pain in my... I don't know why people can't call and let them know I'm coming through and it's a freaking bacon unit so what's the big deal? What am I gonna seal? Light bulbs? Like... So here I am. Now I gotta find out which unit it is and... Open it up and rekey it. I'm, I'm just a little pissed because of people. That's all. But uh, here we go. Alright, so I got my open up set here in my hand. I'm gonna find unit D, which is above. And verify that it is empty. Smith. Hello. Hello, hello. Locksmith. Alright, so normally this would not be a problem, but uh, there's furniture in here. There's a card on here, so I don't know what that's all about. Hello, locksmith. Normally, if there's no furniture, it's not a problem, but this might be a furnace unit. Hello. No, there's no clothes in here really. I am confident this is a vacant unit. It looked like, like people were actually living in here. There'd be an issue. Yes, an empty fridge. I'd have somebody on site as a rep in case something happens where somebody comes back or uh, police are called or whatever. Because I don't know if this is a, some sort of elaborate setup. I don't know really who called this in. I don't have any working relationship with them. But yeah, this looks like a vacant unit. Now they said rekey the two locks. There's one on the back here. Let's see where this leads. Oh, yes. This leads down the stairs. Might have to rekey four locks here. So let me get on the phone and sort this out. And we have a double sided lock on this side as well. It's a little more work than what was originally quoted. Let me get on the phone and sort this out. Someone in charge. So I just got off the phone with this person. She said she has not personally been at this unit. So she wasn't sure there was actually four locks. So this got misquoted. Our dispatcher quoted for two locks, one on each door. Now we got two on each door. And the front main one is actually a double-sided deadbolt. So technically that's five cylinders. Talked to the lady and Confirm that we're reeking all four locks instead of two. She was very pleased that we could actually get it down with one key for all four locks. So we'll be doing that. And she wanted a copy of a uh, total of two keys for this. So let me go downstairs, grab a few tools. Um, and I need an Allen wrench for these quick set and offsets. Take the handles off. Uh, I didn't bring my Allen wrench with me. And a standard Phillips screwdriver for the deadbolts. And then uh, I don't think any of these are smart keys, but let me verify. Yep, smart key on the back. 
I noticed the cylinder is upside down on the handle. So uh, uh, technically I don't have to remove the cylinders on the back, but I do anyways. Just make sure everything's working properly. And uh, since that cylinder is upside down, it's going to switch it the right way and no extra charge. Make sure it's working right. And there's a clip here that has to remove. in there. I'm actually going to take it to my van and rekey it there, duplicate it and make sure it's working fine. All right, back in the truck. Let's get rid of this breathing apparatus. I got another video on what I do for masks. Uh, it'll be up on the top right hand of your screen. Maybe here? I don't know. Whatever. It's there. I'm not sure what happens when the image gets flipped. Okay, so now I got the, the five cylinders. All right, I'm going to take uh, original quick set and then copy them onto our key blanks because that's what we do. We don't hand out originals. It's bad marketing. Let me cut this. One more. The wire brush. The key makes uh, the keys a little on the thick side. There's some two new keys. They're a little thick for the uh, smart key system. So I find you have to actually brush the keys in order to get them to slide smoothly into the cylinder. And we don't have working keys for any of these cylinders. Uh, to rekey the smart key system, you need smart key tool, whatever. Now it's done, let's give it a spray. Nice. Second one we gotta take out of the body. And same thing, we've got to use our special tool, bypass the key. I don't want to be giving away all my secrets though. And then, uh, rekeyed. So we got two locks rekeyed already. I don't like the smart key locks, they are faster, yes, but there is so much more failure rate with these. And there's a key the risk that when you go rekey it, you're going to be the one that screws it up, thankfully. They do not mess up this time around. I'm going to get these other two cylinders. We got a standard pin and it's still in the pick position and the other one I got a shim open. It's a defiant. Well, it's a gatehouse, but it's a defiant style. Since this is already picked, no need to shim. Make sure that the new key is far enough from the old key. Yes, it is. Got lots of ups and lots of downs. I'm going to add spool pins. So we'll see where this is at. None, none, none. So the first pins are not spool pins on this. The first four pins are going to be changed to spool pins because that's how I roll. All right, so the fourth position is going to be spool. Third. And a flight. quicker than this, just not enough light for me to see. Second, these are spool pins here. Second position. And first position only takes seconds to swap out those four pins. Swap out these bottom pins now. So we got three of those pins in there already. Four of those pins. And five of those pins. And this is what a pin kit looks like. We've got to measure lime up to the corresponding number. And when the key is in, everything lines up to the shear line. So that's rekeyed. And spritz. Next two cylinders, we got a shim open. These cylinders say gatehouse. These look exactly like Defiant. So if it's built like a Defiant, there will be a, either a spool pin in the third position or a spool pin in that second and 
fourth positions or a spool pin in the first, third, and fifth position. I have not seen any other deviation from that. And that's the same order that they have adapted spool pin differences. Uh, they started out with the one in the middle. And a few years later, I saw spool pins in the second and fourth. And then a few years later after that, I saw spool pins in the first, third, and fifth positions. Yeah, I'll just take my blank, my shim. Ah, this is a doll shim. Let's see what we can do. Fifth position done, fourth position done, third done, second done. No, oh, sorry. All right. That's all done, and then uh, I'm just gonna make sure that new key is not similar to the old key. It is not, so we're safe. And I'm gonna make sure we got spool pins. None in the first, none in the second, none in the third, none in the fourth. Nope, there's no spool pins in this lock at all, but there will be. So how quick it was for me to pick that open, that knob set. I just put those spool pins, so that's gonna slow me down. It is definitely difficult to pick open with spool pins. Uh, it's certainly not impossible. I can definitely get by, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer when there are spool pins. All right, all right. Let's match the key up. Put the cylinder up to the key. All right, we got all five pins in there. Put that back together. Great. Little spritz. And last cylinder, which will be the inside half of that deadbolt on the front door. And if the outside half didn't have spool pins, um, um, most certainly the inside half does not have spool pins. Shim that open. Try not to give away all my trade secrets. Locksmith hate that. I hate it. But uh, just trying to give you an, an idea how adventurous this life is. So exciting. So exciting. All right, so I got that shimmed. Kind of give you an idea what what a locksmith does. Okay, we got pins. Got to eject the pins. Let's put. New pins in there to match the new key. Sorry for this really bad camera work, but uh, I didn't plan on taking videos today. And I decided since this is a vacant unit, good opportunity to get some footage. All right, so that's rekeyed. There we go, we got five cylinders rekeyed. Two of which were smart key. One was a double-sided cylinder, and one was a key and lever, key and knob, whatever you want to call it. Got them all down to one key, work them all five cylinders. And we'll cut two keys. All right, that was quick and easy. Let's uh, put it all back together. I just checked my truck and I don't see the screwdriver in there, so I misplaced it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Pretty typical. I don't know where I left it. It's probably outside the back door. Let's see where I left it. Okay, it's 
in my truck somewhere. This is difficult. All right, back at my truck a second time. I'm actually gonna open drawers. See if it's in my drawer. I don't see it in here. I'm just gonna grab a second screwdriver here. All right. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to that. Maybe it's in the, it's up here. I misplaced it somewhere. I don't know where it went. frame so I'm going to look at this this is not lined up so I'm going to remove the plate so all the devil is doing is hitting the edge down below here it's only extended like an eighth of an inch um, so I'm going to carve this out so the deadbolt goes the full one inch trowel instead of the one eighth inch. That's sloppy work there. I'm gonna do that later. Let me put the lock back together on the back door and that one I know has to be adjusted as well. issues with these doors. On this back door, you really have to pull on the door to get it to lock. So I'm going to file a strike plate down. I brought my roller zip, so we're going to be using that. And this one, the front one, got the same sort of issue. And that's that. You can hear it hitting the frame. It's not even going into the strike. So that can be solved with the roller zip as well. Um, first, diagnosis. Fix this. It's going to tighten the top hinges. Maybe things have slipped. The door has dropped a little. I should have brought my impact driver because this is a little easier with the impact driver. Okay, so now that I've confirmed the top hinge is actually tight. Still binding. We're going to adjust that. And then I'm going to try this one as well. Let's see if that made any kind of difference. Not really. Okay, rubber zip it is. DeWalt, uh, I don't know what they call this. Since I got a pull on the door to get that to line up, I'm going to file a little bit on that side here. with one hand that's my goal you can also move the strike plate but there's not much movement there I think what needs to do is this hole needs to go down so I take my tool and adjust the bottom of the strike I'm not gonna replace that strike plate. I don't know where that is. I don't have one that size. That's locking without any hitting. You don't hear that clunk. You hear that clunk and there's something not right. 
Sorry for the camera work. I'm on my crappy phone here. All right, so we're done here. Now I'm going to write an invoice and uh, drop the keys off at the main office. And uh, we're done. This is a typical day in a life of locksmith. Uh, this was a typical job, typical door adjustments. If you like this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment anything below, share this video. And uh, I have a little Amazon wish list. If you want to buy me something on Amazon, that'd be pretty cool. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for supporting me. Um, keep on, keep tuned. I have other interesting videos. This is actually, I think, my first locksmith related video. And uh, I'm a locksmith by trade, Sunshine Locksmith team. Thanks for watching. You are, you little devil. I found you.